I've been collecting for 45 years. And I love, I love buying things. I mean, it's what I do. And I love selling things. But I'm not selling things so much anymore. So I'm happy to give it away. The more I found, I knew the more I had to give. I'm Steve Mendelson. I'd say I own the Mendelssohn Gallery, but I should say I am the Mendelssohn Gallery because that's all there is. It's not a business, it's me. You know, and I've been collecting for 50 years. And I've just decided to do this because it's time to give back to the community. It's always sunny where you are from. This is uh, an artist who captured our steel mills. So her name is Cynthia Coley. Yeah. So this is uh, skip, skimming the slag. Do you like that one? Yeah, I kind of do. You can take that. Certainly. For my office. That'd be great. I decided to do this giveaway just because of the coronavirus and because people are stuck inside. They're ready to get outside. I want to reward them and let them know that they're loved and let them know that I want to share this. We need some art, and we need this one way to spread good feeling. Yeah. So thank you, Stephen. Art brings people together. I mean, for me, it's been a religion. You know, it's been a spiritual journey because all my friends are artists and, and all the experiences I have are at art fairs or, you know, traveling to this country, that country, that museum. This piece I found in Paris at a flea market at four o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I remember the, the coffee and the croissant that I had to get warmed up. So far in this short week, maybe five days, I've given away probably close to 200 pieces. So, 20 years ago, Burton Morris said, we decided to do our own art fair here on Ellsworth Avenue. And now he's rich and famous and living in LA. And um, 20 years later, these are back out. They were sitting in a drawer and it's given a lot of people a lot of uh, pleasure to remember those days. I love the car. I used to have a bug. And these colors are so great, I mean, the sunset, sunrise, so I'm um, happy to get this piece. And it meant nothing sitting in a drawer. Yeah. And I'm moving uh, my stuff in New York right now because things are just a little harder there right now, so we'll have to find a wall for it somewhere. You should have both of them then. I mean, well, they're really a pair, so it'd be a shame. Be a shame to split them up. It's gonna fit real good with the rest of my collection across the street. I just really liked the style, and I read that he didn't start painting until he was about 70 years old. So I thought that was a little inspirational. <laughs> you know, you can start whenever you want. It's such a wonderful community oriented thing that he's doing to you know share some things that bring him joy with the community and kind of bring everyone together and put a smile on people's faces behind their masks. It's definitely a souvenir of a very strange and specific time but definitely a highlight of that time. This is our quarantine painting. <laughs> You're welcome to that. It's 1880s. I bought it in Paris. Yeah I got this guy which is a charcoal sketch. Uh, the nice man told me and um, I don't know, it's just like it actually done by hand. And it's... I was wondering what this was. That must be a famous building in Boston. There's no other shops open and then you see like a free artwork stand. You're just kind of like not expecting that. And uh, so it's definitely brightened my day. I'm surrounded by beautiful things and beautiful objects. And it's not about the value of the objects. It's really about the souvenir and the feeling and, and uh, and that's what people are missing. So if this means something nice to somebody and they, it touches their heart, touches my heart, you know, it just makes me feel gratified. <laughs>